life. It's mankind's most precious resource. It's the one thing that every living creature on this earth wants more than anything else. Now, the primary purpose of medical science has always been to heal, to extend life. But what about improving the life we have? Shouldn't that receive just as much attention and effort? <laughs> we are stimulus response creatures at our core. We do something that makes us feel good, we want to do it again. We do something that makes us feel bad and we want to avoid it. But when the memory of these feelings fade, especially the good ones, <laughs> we have to seek out this stimulus all over again. Like some drug addict looking for another fix. But what if we could change all that? What if? you could not only remember the first time you fell in love, but re-experience it in full sensory detail, as if it was happening all over again. A9913, a revolutionary New memory enhancement formula from Halloran Pharmaceuticals is about to make that dream a reality. Memory increases of up to 300% have been recorded in 85% of all test subjects. And not mere static memory, no. Full memory recall. Sight, smell, taste, touch, sound. With A9913, we can relive our finest moments anytime we want. It's instant access to unlimited joy. Now, how's that for improving life? Thank you for coming. Did you enjoy the presentation? Uh, it was uh, entertaining. Walk with me. I understand your position, Doctor, that as a man of science, you prefer to focus on the details of your work rather than the big picture, but where is Dr. Rasmussen, by the way? I asked him to be here as well. Uh, we aren't uh, social. You are one of the most brilliant researchers in your field, and the progress you've made on A9913 is nothing short of miraculous. But the board doesn't understand the ebb and flow of scientific discovery. They require results. Animal testing on the new compound has been quite promising. Hypothalamus stimulation has been greatly improved, mortality rates stabilized, and side effects have been reduced to a uh, a reasonable level. None of which will matter to the FDA unless they are supported by more human trials. The results from this weekend's study will be ready to submit to the FDA. Well, good. Don't let me down, doctor. In fact, don't let humanity down. Tom for your job back? Didn't you hear? I won the lottery. Yeah, I bought this place. You work for me now. 
Well, then I need a raise ASAP. Not after I caught you giving away free beer. All right, boss lady. Uh. Tell me what my next customer's gonna order. Ooh. Pina colada. All right. Hi. Um. Can I get like a pina colada? <sighs> Sorry, we don't have a blender. Oh. Maybe a daiquiri. Still no blender. But why don't you go down there and check out our specials? Let me know. <laughs> How about this guy? Ooh. Manhattan and a fake ID. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, hey man. Uh, do you have a Manhattan? A Manhattan? Yeah. Huh. Do you have a real ID I could see? Well, at least you still haven't lost your touch. I have a gift. If only it would help me get another job. How about this guy? Mind, Mind erasers. erasers. Hey, man, that girl's pretty wasted. Can you call her a cab? Yeah. What's her name? I didn't ask. I'll go check. What was that? What? The cute little look. No, I, look, I came here to ask if you know of anyone hiring. Do you have an idea or not? Actually, yeah. Who's this? Buddy of mine's done it a couple times. Says it's easy money, unless you really want to beg for your job back. Hmm. I'd rather sell my body to science. Dr. Cherums, I'm the uh, lead researcher for your study. Uh, thank you for making the long drive this morning. I'm sure it's rather early for most of you. There are some formalities uh, we must attend to. You're welcome to uh, read along or um, just, just listen. study you have agreed to participate in a phase 3 clinical drug trial of a 9913 Olympic simulator designed to enhance memory as this is a blinded trial fifty percent of the subjects will receive the test serum the remaining 50% will receive a placebo. During the study, you will be confined to the upstairs dorms, where you will be continuously monitored by the Halloran staff. It is imperative that every volunteer reports any atypical sensation experienced. However, volunteers shall not discuss these sensations with other volunteers. Now, if you'll please pass forward your signed non-disclosure agreements along with any keys, cell phones, or uh, other devices. Why do you need our cell phones? Um, this is a very confidential study, Miss Nichols. Miss Nichols, um, communication is tightly regulated. 
and our keys? Uh, leaving the facility before the completion of the study is strictly forbidden. We can't have you go out on any uh, uh, joyride. <laughs> um, thank you for your participation. The study tech, Curtis, will take you to the dorms. The campus is spread over 20 acres and provides research facilities for over 1,800 employees. At any given time, there might be 10 to 15 studies going on. Then why do you guys only let me come in once a month? But due to the upcoming holiday, we are running on a skeleton crew. So please, don't make my life difficult. We're also one of the only privately owned biosafety level four facilities in the country, which means there are thousands of drugs and chemicals and pathogens here that can literally kill you. So don't wander off. Right this way. Hey, Al, two to six. Thank you, sir. No buttons. I guess they really don't want us to leave. Who'd want to leave? Go ahead and find your bags and follow me. Right this way, come on in. Come on in, guys, don't be shy. Claimed. All right. Have your common room here up front. Your bunk rooms are in the back. Girls, you're straight ahead. Guys, you're down the hall to the left. Get comfortable, go ahead and store your things. We'll begin calling your names for dosing in about an hour. So do you go to state? Yeah. My name's Kristen, with a K. What sorority are you in? Theta? No, I'm not oh, in a Oh, Kappa. <laughs> I knew it, you look like a Kappa girl. Mm -hmm. They're always really pretty and kind of smart. Smith and Viola. Oh, God. I never thought I'd do one of these in like a million years, but Daddy cut my Christmas budget in half, so. <laughs> Can you believe that? He likes you. What? Shy Indie Rock, I caught him checking you out. What if we were doing one of those like 30 day trials? I bet everybody would be hooking up. It's like summer camp. Yeah, summer camp with drugs. I don't do drugs. Where do you think we are exactly? These are prescription drugs. There's a difference. They've been tested. Get tested on us. This ain't exactly your mother's medicine cabinet. Hibbard and Ruskin. Whatever, it's my time to dose. Whatever, enjoy your drugs. Newbies. So how many of these have you done? <sighs> Let's see, one, two, three, carry the four, divided by seven. A lot. Yeah, but at the end of those pharmaceutical commercials, there's always this long list of disclaimers. Should I be worried? Look, this is the best gig in town. We get free food, you can play pool, video games. You can even read a book if you're into that stuff. We basically get paid to do nothing. Seems like you have it all figured out. Yes, I do. All while being absolutely colorblind. Still no word from Dr. Rasmussen. Do you want me to keep trying him? No, but let me know when he calls. Here, you watch them for a while.
So am I supposed to believe this is a coincidence? <laughs> I don't know. Would you believe that? I think the bartender gave me a flyer too. Look, I'm not like a stalker, okay? I'm just broke. I guess I'm not the only college student who needs money. Den Ferguson. Den? Yeah, like a comfy room. Or a shelter for woodland animals. <laughs> guess my parents wanted to make life just slightly more awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anna. Nice to stalk you, Anna. <laughs> Miss? What is this supposed to do again? It's a hippocampus stimulator. What does that mean, though? It stimulates the hippocampus. It works on a part of your brain that's associated with memory. The hope is it may help cure Alzheimer's, among other things. Wait. What if someone wants out? Well, you're welcome to leave, of course. But the time to make that decision is now. Once you've received the injection, you have to stay on site until the end of the study. No exceptions. For your own safety, of course. And how long will it take until I start to feel something? Absorption rates differ according to a range of variables. Tissue density, metabolic rate, cellular efficiency. It varies per test subject. How long will it last? Again, miss, that depends on the individual's physiology, variables I just mentioned, and a host of other factors. On average, six to eight hours. If you don't want to, don't. Don't forget, there's a 50% chance you'll get the placebo and exhibit no effects whatsoever. That perfectly lined up. Gonna have to put you out of your misery, man. Okay. Who's next? Huh? Come on. I'll put up 60. The challenge will only lose is 20. Hey, if you're such the pool shark, then why do a research study? Well, I heard I could meet desperate hotties who can pass an STD test. Ew. <laughs> it's a joke. I'm joking. Well, my dad says nobody really jokes. A person's joke actually tells you exactly what they're thinking. Let me paint a picture for you. I'm in a hold'em game, tuition stakes. I go all in with a jack high because I know the other guy only has a queen high. A queen's better. Yeah, it is very good. But you don't call a $2,500 bet when you only have a queen, okay? <laughs> nobody does that. But he did. Yeah, he did. So, here I am. All right, come on. Who's next, huh? Somebody. All right, how about... You. Yeah, you wanna shot the champ? I don't play. Yeah, she doesn't play. Oh, I could teach you. Come on, just in here, it'll be fun. Huh? I could break that cue across your face. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then you'd, you'd have to kiss it, make it a little better. I'll play you. What, you want to kiss me too? I like her idea better. All right, big boy, I'll play you. But you're pretty good too. You wouldn't risk losing in front of the girls. Guess we'll see.
Don't cry, everybody. It's gonna be over soon. <laughs> oh, come on! What? Okay, yeah. I messed up. What? How did you do that? Do what? How'd you, how'd you put the balls back? He missed. It's your turn. You didn't just see me shoot? <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever, man, you're lost. Doctor wants to see you. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, fine. I mean, a little strange, I guess. He's so cocky and braggadocious and, like, he thinks he's so cute because of his tiny t-shirt and his spiky hair and his muscly arms. And he flirts with all the girls and, like, they believe it and he's not a good pool player. It's like he had a mental breakdown. <sighs> Are you okay? Uh... I... I don't feel so well. Is everything okay? Uh-huh. braggadocious and like he thinks he's so cute because of his tiny t-shirt and his spiky hair and his muscly arms and he flirts with all the girls and like they believe it and he's not a good pool player it's like he had a mental breakdown are you okay uh, uh, i don't i don't feel so well Is everything okay? missed a shot and it was exactly like I don't know like I saw it happen I guess please be specific did you see it happen or did you experience it in full sensory detail sight smell taste yeah it was like it really happened twice we have been testing this drug for almost three years it's a very refined version. Any side effects should be minimal. Would you say you are predisposed to this sort of thing? To what? See in the future? More like intuition. Well, I'm a hell of a card player. But of course, that comes from counting cards. So would you say you have an above average memory? Sure. But I'm above average in most things. OK. I'm going to send you back, but with one condition. I don't want you to discuss this with anyone. In these studies, Yeah, it's... I get it. One person gets a headache, everybody thinks they got a headache. Exactly. But this was no headache. Once we had a drug study volunteer who was suddenly hit with the worst back pain you could imagine. He was in agony, couldn't even stand up. You know what he took? Nothing. Placebo. Physically, he was fine. There is no sensation sight, smell, taste, that the mind cannot experience as real. Remember, keep it to yourself.
getting worse out here. Be careful. Take that one, I'll try. All right, and if you have any trouble, you know, just call me. I'll come running. You better come running with some snowshoes. <laughs> Whatever it takes, darling. Drive safe. And then it happened again. Right after I left the doctor's office, I came out here with all of you, except I guess I didn't because I was just like that, right back in the doctor's office again. Like deja vu? No, no, it's like it happens once and then it happens again the exact same way. It's so weird. First trippy drug study I've been a part of and I get the placebo. It's not fun, okay? It's scary. Like, even now, in this conversation, is this really happening, or am I just about to jump back to the beginning again? It's like, I don't know when now is. None of you are feeling anything? Lights out in five. Wait, could you just give us, like, a little longer? I don't make the rules. Lights out in five. You're not even my real dad. You know, this drug is supposed to help increase our memory. What if you're just remembering the future? Remembering the future? On a quantum level, time is not linear. Our brains just perceive it that way so that we can differentiate between past, present, and future. I watch a lot of Doctor Who. Look, I don't care what it is. I just want it to stop. Now. Marcus, tell them. I'm okay. That's not what you said earlier. Well, that's what I'm saying now. That wasn't five minutes, Curtis! Go to sleep! All I know is I didn't sign up for this. I'm getting out of here first thing in the morning before they can give us anything else. Jerems? Dr. Jerems, how are things progressing? Uh, fine. Good. I'm busy. Uh, Dr. Resmussen never showed. Well, actually, that's why I'm calling. I'm afraid that Dr. Rasmussen was found dead outside of his home this morning. Do you know what happened? Not really, no, but uh, the police are treating it as a homicide. They found some odd details at the scene. Some sketches. Does that mean anything to you? Sketches? Change of plans. Take me to the research facility.
dying. Who? Her, all of them, everyone. Okay, okay, Kalu, just come with me. We're talking to Dr. No Joe. way, I am done. I'm leaving. I can't let you do that. Ow! Stop. You're just making it worse. What are you doing? They are all going to die. Are you listening to me? Something is going to happen in that book, and they are going to die. Let me go. Let her go. Look, step back. All right? You can't just keep her here. I don't want to hurt you, kid, but there's a blizzard out there. If she's exhibiting side effects, then she needs to be here where we can help her. You understand? I'm going to take her to see the doctor. I'll keep you informed, okay? Just acting crazy. Said she saw him dead. So who did? I don't know. All of them. I had to sedate her to calm her down. Let's leave that for now. Is it happening again? I'll take it from here. Just keep an eye on the others. Right. a very rare but very powerful side effect. Tell me what you saw. They were screaming and gagging. I saw them dead on the floor. I'm sorry to say things are about to get uh, much worse for you. We'll talk more when you feel better.
to come? Come on, get your things. Where are you two going? Well, if we're lucky, we can make it to the casino by morning. You're leaving to go gamble? We can see the future. What do you think? Look, I don't care where we're going as long as it's not here. You should come. Well, how do we get down? The doors are locked. Well, I saw the scratch guy go through there. It's got to go somewhere. Are you coming or not? Yeah, let's go. Hey, I'm not splitting the money with that guy. Wait, we're really going to a casino? Do you know where we are? Sixth floor. Yeah, but do you know how to get down? Wait, wait. What just happened? Why did all the doors unlock? Because my luck is on fire right now. Let's go before they switch back. Okay. Hey, the exit's this way. Oh, you're kidding me. That's why you came? Then there are a million doors in this place, man. You're never gonna find her. And if you do, what then? Marcus, let's just go, please. What are you doing? This is where we just came from. Oh, no, no, no. He can't see us. Huh? Hello? Huh? Would you stop it? No, show him your boobs. Uh, no! He can't see. Go, do it. Do you take anything seriously?
Take a second. Was it you? Huh? You little punk? Huh? How do you do it? Let him go! Did you see someone? Anyone? I saw you guys running like hell, and next thing I know, I'm in a blizzard in my freaking PJs. Obviously, I should have just minded my own business. Somebody murdered that nurse guy. Curtis? He's dead? Oh, damn, I actually like that guy. We didn't see who did it. Look, I'm not used to being the least medicated guy in a group situation. Are you sure it just wasn't one of your little visions? This really happened. Besides, we took that drug, like, hours ago anyway. And I didn't take it at all. If you weren't leaving, why were you downstairs? Just looking around, you know, whatever. Oh, come on, he's lying! Okay. No, scratch, it's okay. He's fine, all right? Can we stop talking about this so that we can get the hell out of here? We can't leave. Oh my God. I swear to God, I'm gonna punch you in your face. We can't leave everybody up there not knowing what's going on. But we don't know what's going on. Can't leave everyone or just one girl? Everybody includes Anna. I'm not going back. Let's just, let's just call the cops when we make it to town. Uh, in this weather, that could take hours, if we can make it at all. Hey, what are you doing? Those flashes you saw, you really think they were real? You really saw events before they happened? What if Anna's right, too? What if they're all gonna die? How are we supposed to do anything about that? Even Curtis couldn't do anything. They are asleep, man. If there is even a chance, we can't just let them die. I mean, what if it was us? But it's not us. We are out here. So we have to go. I can take him from you. How about you? You want to come? Yeah, I'm, I'm more of a stand back and make witty observations kind of guy, so... Alright, well, you know this place. Any idea where they might have taken Anna? Probably the hospital ward. Just make a right on the fifth floor. Wait, can you, like, leave the keys so we could keep the heater on? This won't take long. And you're a coward. Marcus, 
We should probably share body heat. We need to take off all our clothes. Marcus! Wait up! Hey! Well, we tried, man. We have to go upstairs. What is that smell? Bleach. Ammonia. Yeah, cleaning supplies. No. Nobody cleans with both, not if we want to keep breathing. Basically makes mustard gas. Whatever, are we going up or what? <laughs> Freight elevator. Yeah, that'll work. Find Anna. You wake the others when we get to the lobby. Be safe. Yeah, no shit. Somebody, they're all gone, the guys too.
Are you okay? They are dead. It came true. It is all going to come true. Okay, we need to go. Right now, okay? No, no, wait, what do you mean it's all, it's all, it all came true? It doesn't matter, we have to go. No, it does matter. She, she saw them die like that and it happened. What else have you seen? Where's Kristen? That was her. Where is she? This way. Kristen! Oh my god. We gotta find out where this ends. Oh, come on! What did he do with her? Who? You tell me. You're the one with all the messed up visions. We saw someone kill Curtis, and we found a guard's body. It has to be the same one who killed the others. And you had visions too. Yeah, of a friggin' pool shot, man. Not dead bodies and this. Did you see this or not? No, I, I thought I saw her on the tile, but I never saw her face. I mean, maybe this isn't her. Guys. It was a trap. He knew she'd be here. No, that's impossible. How could someone know? Someone who's taken the drug would know. <laughs> Who? Scratch? No. No, he got the placebo, like me. Yeah, well, everyone else is dead, man. But this isn't the first time this drug has been tested. It could have been someone from a previous study. <sighs> what else did you see? Where are they? Warm them. 
some thoughts. Beaches. Soup. Oh, that's right. Let's see what I got. Let's see, we got some. We got some uppers. Some downers. Laxives. Some future zingens. I'm gonna say hallucinogens. Yeah. Maybe we can open the doors from there. Come on. We need an access card. Great. I can't believe you made us come back in here, man. Come back? Oh, yeah, we were gone, out the door. But then Team Anna here had to come back just for you. You came back for me? And the others. But yeah. Yeah, so since you're the only reason we're here, what have you seen that can help us get out? Nothing, it doesn't work like that. Uh, no, apparently it does work that way because this other nut job knows exactly what we're gonna do before we do it. Well, then why don't you go find him and ask him because I don't know. Whoa. What was that, him? Maybe we can stay here and watch him coming. He's killing the cameras. Yeah, of course he is, because he knew we'd be watching. We need to find the doctor. Maybe he can get us out of here. Yeah, that's a good point, man. Where's he been through all this? Track that guy down. Here, Dr. Jerems, 237. Well, seriously, look, it's better than waiting here to die. Fine. Let's go. What's happening? Why aren't we moving? It's a storm, sir. The freeway's backed up for miles. Damn it. Come on, Jerems. Pick up. Yes, uh, this is Dr. Redmond Layton from Halloran Pharmaceuticals. I need you to send someone to our research facility. It seems as if we've lost contact with them. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm well aware of the storm. In fact, I'm stuck in it right now, which is why I've called you. No, no I, I'm not asking you to rescue me. I'm asking you to send someone because I fear something may have happened to someone at my facility. Saving humanity again.
Oh, he's not here. I'm shocked. We'll look for anything that might help. Access cards, maybe our cell phones. Yeah, the phone's dead. Are you sure? Because at some point, I think I remember the phone ringing. Well, if the phone rings, we'll know it's working again, won't we? Guys? This is Dr. Rasmussen, Dr. Jerems. Interview 21, patient 8, Pascal Dern. Tell us about another one of these experiences you're having. Why? Because it'll help us understand what's happened to you. Pascal, I'll you... I'll tell you, but it won't help. Have you figured out the writing on the bunk room wall yet, Dan? Okay, Dan. What does Dan mean? To go, Dan. To go. I'm sorry, I I'm afraid I don't understand. You won't. That file was created six months ago. No, I, I don't understand. How was he talking to you? Because he saw it. He already knew that we'd be here watching this video. Probably even a sketch of us somewhere. Well, what was he saying? To to go, that doesn't make any sense. On the wall, they weren't numbers. It wasn't 60, it was go. What, 52 go? No, it's five. You, Kristen, Scratch, Den, and me. Five to go. Hello? Hey, it's me. Scratch! Hang up, I need to call the cops. I already tried that. It's an inside line. I've been dialing extensions looking for you guys. Well, I'm with Marcus and Anna. All the others are dead. Anna's vision came true, you understand? Now all the doors are locked and we can't get out. Wait, they're all dead? Really? Where are you? It's some old garage. Hey, listen, I found a bunch of sketches. They're actually pretty good. But it's weird, because one of them kind of looks like me. I mean, other than the eyes. The eyes are pretty off. Yeah, we found some too. We think the killer drew him. He was a patient. So, the drug made him see us? Wow, that's... Hey, could you ask Hannah if she had any visions about me? He wants to know if you've had any visions about him. No. But you are telling me that there is a crazy, murderous, somewhat decently talented artist stalking this place? Who knows exactly what we're going to do before we do it. Yep. Okay, good to know. Listen, Scratch, is there any other way out of here? I don't know. But Curtis once threatened to lock me in some biohazard clean room in the basement. Maybe you guys could hide out there till morning. Okay, we'll check it out. What are you going to do? I'll think of something. I say we go to the shelter. No, forget it. Marcus. Marcus, it might be safer. What? Hey, what are you telling us? Back off. What are you gonna do? Huh? Hey, quit it! Come on! Hey! Come on! Hey, 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 guys! Quit it! I saw something, okay? I saw a lot of things. Like what? Oh. Okay. Who gets it? Him or me? Tell us. We deserve to know. Both of you. Dead? No, no. Just because you see it happen doesn't mean it will. Yeah, I, I know. Maybe it won't yeah, happen. But everything else has come true, hasn't it? Some of them were small, like the phones ringing and the doors locking, but no matter what I do, they keep coming true. And the other ones, like the girls in the bunker room and the number on the wall, I don't think I can stop them. Are you still having the visions? No. But I think I only saw things that I'm actually going to see, so maybe if we can go somewhere I haven't seen. Like the shelter? Somehow derail the path we're on, change fate? It's worth a shot, isn't it? And what about you? You see what happens to you? No. The shelter? 
Yeah. Hey, maybe you should just leave that here. Why? He probably left it for us to take. Or maybe he wants us to leave it so someone else can take it. Or have you seen that too? dorm first. I'll do it. I don't think you have to worry. Wait. Why doesn't he have to worry? When you saw me, how do I... You drown? How could I drown? I just know what I saw. about me you die in a hallway hallway <laughs> this this place is nothing but hallways I'm gonna find the damn shelter
my partner and I had been testing memory formula for many years, but Pascal was the first who had visions as a side effect. And not just visions, but his actual future. His foresight. So you gave him more, didn't you? Oh, it was very promising. And we continued experimenting as we modified it. Yes, of course. And? We discovered the effects are cumulative. He had a psychotic break and began experiencing visions of violence. Stop dosing him. Yes, but the visions continued. His brain somehow began producing the effects, uh, much like a, an addict's produce an opiate response. And he stopped experiencing time as linear. Past, present, future, it all existed simultaneously. It drove him mad. He had to be committed. And that didn't stop you from putting that stuff into us? Every worthwhile discovery has risk. The goal is to make that risk, uh, in this case, side effects, uh, reasonable. Well, yeah, yeah, very reasonable. So side effects may include uh, hallucinations, psychosis, killing everyone you've ever met. Hey, but at least there's no anal leakage, right? Uh, not in this version, no. I want to kill this guy. He's not after us, is he? He's just using us to try to force you to kill yourself. It, it would seem so. Uh, my partner died last night, probably trying to save his family. And yet you are hiding out in a bomb shelter, leaving us to die. You're not my family. Has it not occurred to you that Pascal might know you'd hide out in here? Yes, of course, but there aren't many options, are there? I'll take my chances up here. Faster! This is your problem, not ours! I'm in here and you're out there, so... Uh, actually, this is uh, very much your problem. See the future. See the future. This stupid drug doesn't even work. You know what I don't understand? Why Pascal doesn't just kill that guy? Yeah, why doesn't he just walk up and shoot him in the face? I don't know. Or maybe it's like, like Anna. He sees things that are gonna happen, but he doesn't control them. How about it, asshole? Does he control the visions or do they control him? It's impossible to say. What if somebody were to kill him? Would his vision still come true after he's dead? That's an excellent question.
So I'm thinking we just stay here. Arm up as best we can and make our stand. Look, at least we'll see him coming. And there's no water down here. <laughs> Why'd you come back? What do you mean? Mark, you said you were outside. Why'd you come back for me? You hardly know me. Well, I mean, we came back for everyone. But... I'd like to know you, Anna. Well, that can't happen. Not anymore, not after that asshole sentenced us to die. No, don't give up. Whatever happens, we can't give up. Why not? We're just prolonging the inevitable. What are you talking about? He knows everything, remember? Why would he go through all of his trouble just to make Jerems commit suicide? He's getting rid of the drug den. Every last trace. And that includes us. Not you. You took a placebo. You could just hide in a corner and wait for the cavalry. He doesn't know that. I'm sure he does. She just said it. He knows everything. Which is why we need to do something that he doesn't expect. Okay, so I was talking to Dickless over there and I got an idea. What if we can get one step ahead of these visions and do something that hasn't been seen yet? That's a big if. I mean, we don't know what his visions are or where he is. Yeah, I know, but think about it, okay? She told us how she saw us die, so what if she didn't see it? Would it still happen? Are we talking about Pascal or Anna? I'm not saying we heard her, we just, we tie her up. It's practically self-defense, man. Step back. Now. <laughs> relax. Just relax. It's just an idea. We're just figuring stuff out. Figure something else. Yeah. Look around, see if there's another way out. No, is it happening now? Is it my turn now? Oh. Hey, 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 come on, man, come on. Please, let us in. Uh, we will tell the cops that you saved us. You'll be a hero. Come on. You guys, there's another door over here. Come on. Uh, oh, no. He's going to kill me now, isn't he? I don't know, Marcus. I don't know. Marcus, help me. <laughs> Did you see that coming? Marcus! Why would he just leave? He never meant to come down. He knew he didn't need to. He knew. 
There's no way. No, 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 listen to me. You cannot give up. There has to be something. What, some way to change the future? What if Marcus was right? I should kill you? No, 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 no. I mean, if we are nowhere near each other, how can I see you die? And if I can't see you die... Will it still happen? No. No, it's too dangerous being trapped inside like this. Done. Anna, even if it means I'm going to die, I'm not leaving you in here alone with him. Can't be that simple. What? Come on. We're getting out of here. Oh, not more stairs. Come on! No, no, are you crazy? This is way too high. We cannot jump. Maybe. Come on. Just look at that snowdrift. It's deep, Anna. We can make it. I can't do this. Anna, look at me. We jump on three. One, two, three. My keys are in the jacket! Go get help! Den! Den! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did you do? What are you waiting for? You already know where I'm going. That makes one of us.
I was wrong. Kristen dead in the bathroom, but I just found her outside. These visions don't always come true, do they? Did you tell the others how they died? Everyone except Kristen. This isn't fate, is it? It's more like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, certainly by telling them you influence their behavior and therefore the outcome. What about Pascal? Do his visions always come true? It's hard to say. He sees so much. Because the drug is cumulative, right? And he's had a lot? He has. Surprise me.
doing this? Pascal! Shut the door. Forget the door! Shut the door! Have you finally lost your mind? Why are you here? Why do you think I'm here? I've been calling you all night, driving through a blinding snowstorm to find out what the hell's been going on with my... Daddy! Thank you. 